I'm being asked to find the indefinite integral of this function here. So solution. So what we'll do is use a u substitution. We'll set u equal to x squared plus 17. Okay, and then du would be 2x dx. Now we almost have what we want, right? We have a 2x dx here, but here we have a 3x dx. So we want to make this match what's in the integral. So to do that, we need to have a 3 and not a 2. So let's do it in two steps. Let's divide both sides by 2, right, to get rid of the 2. So du over 2 is equal to x dx. All right, but we're still missing the 3, so we'll multiply both sides by 3. So 3 du over 2 is equal to 3x dx. And now we have it. Everything matches. So let's see. 3x dx, it's right here. It's equal to 3 halves du. And if you want, you can think of this as 3 halves times du. That makes it a little bit easier for some people to see. And this piece here, that will be our u. So our integral is equal to, let's see, 3 halves. Let's pull out the 3 halves. It's just a lot cleaner when you pull out the numbers. And du all over u to the fifth. Right? So that's u to the fifth. And 3x dx, that was 3 halves du. We took the 3 halves out, and you have to leave the du inside. Never pull out the du. That, that's a horrible mistake. So this is 3 halves. Uh, if you bring this upstairs, it becomes u to the negative 5 du. Why do we do that? So we can use the power rule. So this is 3 halves u to the negative 4 over negative 4 plus our constant. So this is, let's see, 2 times negative 4. So it's going to be negative 3 eighths. And let's bring this back downstairs. 1 over u. And what was u? Ah, u is here u is x squared plus 17. So x squared plus 17 to the fourth power. And all of this we're adding c. And that's it.